It's time for some weekend foodie fun. Oh, and this steak is marinated overnight and grilled over hot coals. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm telling you, every slice is a piece of heaven. Oh, and then you top it with some homemade chimichurri sauce. Oh, oh forget about it. Stars, it's unbelievable. Wow. wow. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My beef loving loon. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things I've ever said, that is probably the most the accurate. The truest. You yes. love a good cut of meat. I do. So Give do me a good steak. I, yes. I know. So this is one of those weekend project dishes that is so good. Only weekend project because you're going to let it marinate over all, overnight and yes. then it comes together really fast. Yes. Okay. So let's talk meat. Let's talk meat. Yeah. This is a flap. Steak. A flap steak. I love it. Flap, flap, flap. So it's kind of like a skirt steak. Isn't it's it? similar, but I think it's even better because I love like, always you cooking see all with of the the the. The, the, the marbly, the yeah. marbly, the marbly. So I was with my butcher the other day, and he was talking to me. But I so I told him what I was doing, and he said, "Go with flap steak. You're gonna really like it." And I said, "You sure?" And he said, "I'm positive." And he is and so we tried right. It, and it we is were so like, this flavorful. Is I usually yeah. use either ribeye or skirt steak, and I'm now a forever flapper. <laughs> <laughs> but you can you love it. So flap steak in different parts of the country and the world may be called different things. It may be sirloin tip. Um, it could be a bavette. Um, but just ask for flap steak if you can't find flap steak no worries you can go with skirt steak you can go with ribeye really any kind of good cut of meat because like we said we're going to let this baby marinate all night yeah the thing about flap steak is it's not real pricey there's a bag uh, of meat <laughs> okay and we'll travel <laughs> okay now ladies and gentlemen i gotta show you this i'm so excited see this is my homemade chili sauce i'm gonna this, keep this on here because i got that bag we'll good see. okay this is one of those things that's going to make this weekend project unbelievably good so this is a chili sauce that we've made from scratch it's not real Hard. So it's when, amazing. First it, of all. <laughs> yeah. So when you go to your grocery store, um, you're going to want to find peppers like this. These are just dried peppers. You can usually find them in the Hispanic section or in the uh, produce section. Um, if you can't find them, then find a, uh, a Hispanic market. They're definitely going to have them or order them online. So this right here are Guajillo peppers. They're dried peppers. These are arbol peppers. These are really easy to find. Mm -hmm. A lot of times um, you'll find ancho peppers, which I love too. Those are dried poblanos um but anyway you're i'm going to use to make this i'm going to do about 16 of each of these yes and, and you they're, they've got a lot of seeds in them and you certainly don't want those stems so just do your best to cut off that stem and then get as many of the seeds out of there as you can don't worry if you don't get them all because we're gonna um they're, they're okay but get yeah, most of don't them don't hit your eyes though don't hit your eyes. So now we're going to get a medium pot and we're going to bring that to a boil. And we want to just soften these peppers up. So we're going to put those peppers in there and let them um, just boil for about 15 minutes. Okay. Now we're going to get out our blender and we are going to use a slotted spoon to take those softened peppers and put them into the blender. Now we need about a cup. This is a rough cup of, of, that, of that liquid, liquid of yeah. the pepper okay. liquid. Very carefully. It's sometimes a little difficult to do, but just try to pour that water into a some sort of a heat proof measuring cup and then just eyeball about a cup into the into the blender then we're going to add um, two or three cloves of garlic that we've minced and then we're going to add two teaspoons of salt and then after that we're going to add some bouillon cubes i think i yes. got that backwards yeah, i think you did bouillon and then bouillon salt. in the well, salt but anyway, it's okay <laughs> my mind is is all about this meat okay and, and then, then you blend and it and then it. you just puree it and, it and then it just turns into this beautiful like you could strain it but don't it's so oh, thick and it's delicious got some heat, though. and it does does have some heat we're not believe me we're not going to use all this but you know what cook some chicken in it we cook, use some, it and some ground beef for tacos it's taco oh, meat we do, it's good on fajitas it's good <laughs> on so many things we, and right. it keeps in the fridge for like several weeks all right all right, <laughs> okay. all right. keep on. it going all, all right, right. Sure. all right that's good all right put okay. a lid on it stop talking okay so now we're going to make we need to have some important ingredients to really get this super tender so this is i love cooking marinating with pineapple juice that's so a good. quarter cup of pineapple juice the acid it just mm. tenderizes it and adds amazing and flavor a little sweet we got two too. no Pineapple juice, a little sweetness. Oh, a little sweetness. I thought you thought that was no. something sugary. <laughs> Syrup. It was vegetable oil. <laughs> vegetable oil. Yeah, it, 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 and the, well, you do have a little bit of the sweetness from the pineapple. That's and what then I'll you've say. got a little savory from the soy sauce. Yes. I got a half a cup of soy sauce. And then we've got some more garlic because garlic makes everything better. And that's mm -hmm. uh, like three cloves that I have minced. And then now I'm just going to take this. And you I, generally, you I would recommend 
a tablespoon because like I said, that does have some heat, but we want just a little, it's carne asada, so yeah. we want a little, bit of, a little bit of cake. If you like it really spicy, then go with a quarter cup or a half a cup. And this, believe me, it's not gonna be super, super duper spicy <laughs> because that marinade is gonna distribute over the meat. Let's keep it on this here because I, I got some meat on the Okay, <laughs> so now I've got a half a, I've got like a half an onion that I just cut into strips. There is no science to this. It's just gonna help add some flavor. Perfect. Okay, and now we're going to- And then we're to gonna add the pour, sauce, add the, the marinade. There we go. There we go. Okay, oh. oh my gosh, it already smells so great. All right, now, now just, massage. Yeah, yeah, give it a little massage. And then you're gonna, I, what I like to do is just kind of do it like this. Get that air out of the bag as much as you can. And yes. then just massage it like that with your hands. You want Perfect. To, oh my gosh, okay. And then it's gonna sit in the fridge. Every time you go to the fridge when you're, I don't know, getting cereal or getting a beer or whatever, give it a little <laughs> massage. Just keep that meat um, really happy with that marinade. That's hysterical. That's <laughs> you put beer on your cereal. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna grill this up tomorrow and it's gonna be the best steak we've ever had. Yes. Okay, <laughs> wow, it has been a way, I, this is anticipation. It's been 18 hours. I know, so give me I'm my gonna... <laughs> meat, Loon, would ya? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hand me my meat. All right. Okay, so I've, you know, I've been every now and then, you know, we'll take our turns and we go and just like rub it like this, yes. but it is, should be so loaded with flavor. Oh. Okay, now. After 18 hours, I would hope I so. I would think so. so Can you just dump it all in there? You could, but I'm not oh. gonna do that. All right. All right. <laughs> so, all right, all right, there you go. Oh, okay. oh my gosh, the smell. It just transforms this meat. Do you save this for something? Nah, you're gonna wanna discard that. You oh. don't drink it. <laughs> okay, I've had to tell him that before. Okay. Oh, would you stop? I know, no, I'm kidding. So now <laughs> we've got a- That looks uh, great. I have pulled out, we've pulled out Sorry. our charcoal grill just because I love cooking on a big old Weber charcoal grill. It's fun. And you can get those charcoals super yeah. screeching hot because we are going to char this baby and it's going to cook probably only about five minutes per side tops. We like it kind of medium, medium rare. I love We're going to use our trusty instant read thermometer to make sure we get it to around a 125, 130 because it's going to, when it rests for about five minutes, the temperature will continue to rise. Yes. And, um, and then we've got these incredible, Tortillas. We love, I'm, no, I'm just basking in the moment. Of These that. flour tortillas, we love flour tortillas. <laughs> and you can get them from your favorite restaurant. Chris makes flour tortillas, but you we got- You can make flour tortillas, yeah. I've got the recipe. But we got these from our favorite Tex-Mex restaurant No, we didn't, I made them. <laughs> That's what we were going to say. <laughs> okay, I'm going okay, to go take this out on the grill. You're going to fold those in and yes. wrap them in foil. Because and then, then we're going to throw these on the and grill we too. we put them on the grill and they heat. And then, oh my gosh, it's perfection. Chris, I can't believe you made these. They're so I know. amazing. Moment. I didn't even realize. <laughs> so you're going to place the meat directly over the hot coals. I like to hit it with just a little more salt for a little more seasoning. Cover and let cook for about five minutes. Now we're gonna uncover, use a pair of tongs to flip the meat over. It should just be beginning to start to char. Oh, so good. Hit it with a little more salt, and now it's time to throw on those tortillas. Cover and let cook for another five minutes. Oh, oh my God, wow. the smell. That is juicy looking. It's so beautiful, and this, oh, the smell is amazing. All right, oh. like I said, we need to let Woo. this, my had my coals scorching hot, so I got this, <laughs> I, too, I had to take this off when it was at 1.30, so, but that's good, that's fine. It's gonna be about a medium, and that's good. So now I'll we're gonna let it rest. Oh, <laughs> heck yeah. So we're gonna let these juices just kinda like settle back into the meat and let that rest under foil for about five minutes. Now, and I've got my foil, I mean, my, I've got my tortillas, they're nice and warm. Totally, yummy. they're my tortillas, too. There you are, they're our tortillas. <laughs> And now, so we have a, a couple of accoutrements <laughs> that are great with this steak, with the carne asada. And this is chimichurri sauce, homemade chimichurri. So let me tell you real quick how you, it's so easy to make. You can buy, you can find so good, good quality from the store, but you can also make it. All right, so let me tell you how you make this chimichurri sauce at home. It's really easy. First of all, you pull out your trusty, dusty, um, not too dusty, food processor, and you're gonna add to that a half a cup of freshly cut parsley, a quarter cup of cilantro, and five cloves of garlic that have been just roughly chopped. Okay. Then you just hit the high pulse and puree it until they're really, really kind of finely chopped and mixed well together. You might have to uh, scrape down the sides also. Scrape down the bit. sides a little bit, that'll help. And then you're, to that, you're gonna add a quarter cup of onion, roughly chopped, a half a cup of a red bell pepper, that's usually like half the red bell pepper, seeded and roughly chopped. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of oregano, dried, and then we've got a quarter teaspoon of red pepper, 
red pepper flakes, add more if you want some heat, and then we're gonna do a teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, and then a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Then you're just gonna pulsate that for about a minute to two minutes. You may need to scrape that down those sides a little bit, and it's just gonna turn into this incredible sauce. Mm. You transfer it to a jar, and then it'll stay in your fridge for up to a week. And it's yeah. just amazing. Yeah, and amazing. then you just wanna eat this. Eat it. It's, that is really, <laughs> I eat it, eat it, eat Put it. Put it on a taco. It's good on somebody. It's really par popular in Argentina, just as this steak is. So, yes. Um, all right, we're gonna let this rest for just a couple more minutes, and I can't wait any longer, and then we're gonna eat. <laughs> oh, did you say a pico de gallo? Oh, yeah. I didn't say anything about it, but there it is. <laughs> pico de gallo. <laughs> Okay. All right. It's that's, time. That's been sitting long enough. I know. I know. <laughs> I, look at that. Oh, it's just those juices uh, are beautiful. Now I like to hit it with just a little more finishing salt, just because it yes. just gives another little texture yes. and flavor to it. Okay. So now I'm we're going to. Yeah, 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 baby. Okay. Yes. So now we're just going to sort of start cutting against the grain, and I am telling Perfect. you, it is <gasps> so tender. Flo oh. just pushed me out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> If you could see her. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's perfect. Yeah. <gasps> I was a little concerned that I, because oh. I had my coals good and hot, which is what you want. You want that nice, like, kind of. That looks so oh, good. That That's perfect. perfect. Yeah, that is Wesley, so perfect. I'm so excited. All right. This is, all right. I know, let me have enough for both of them. Let me get one more. He's like, all right, bring it over. Okay. You're cutting meat in front of me. I know, I know. So, um, all right, I'm just going to bring this over for you. Yes, thank you. And here we've got our warm oh. tortillas. These are very similar to like fajitas, except without all the fixings. Yo. This meat is so good. I'm going to give you a little more. Okay, okay. That's fine by me. Oh, great. <laughs> Look at that. Y'all, that is heaven. <laughs> It's, don't be sneaking any bites. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna put a little chimichurri on there. Obviously, that. you can serve this without tortillas and it would be absolutely heavenly. We just have a thing for tortillas. I'm gonna I put just, just a love, little dash of my pico on there. I love this. I'm gonna put some of that there on there. Too. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna put some this. This chimichurri is just such oh, a Oh, you guys, you guys. I'm just using my fingers. There we Use go. Use your fingers. <laughs> Let your fingers do the work walking. Okay. This has been two days we in the been, making. I know. It's oh. a, it's one of those fun weekend <laughs> projects. Right. What did you do? I scooted my th everything around. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold. Weekend project shall commence. <laughs> No words. <laughs> Some things are worth the wait. <laughs> I'm never gonna eat anything other anything else again. Wow, it's it's phenomenal. That meat is so seasoned. It is just and tender. I. Mm. I uh. <laughs> I have a feeling you're gonna leave me for this steak. Oh, <laughs> it's long gone. Oh, wow, y'all, this is t another. You've been, I'm like, whatever, 10,000% Luna Proof. Oh, I wish I were happy, uh, you guys. This is so, one of those, uh, it's, I can't mm, even speak. You will mm. make it, you will love it, your friends, your family will flip, and oh, it's so much fun. It's oh. one of those perfect weekend things to make. We love you so much. Make carne asada. I'm gonna speak for the loon because he's got a mouthful of meat. <laughs> Bye, everybody! <laughs>